Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this pouch. I made it with cotton yarn. You can make it with any type of yarn. And I made it with an inch button. Um, your button size can be whatever you prefer. Um, this was done with a shelf type of stitch with a half double crochet. Um, I used a G hook. Of course, you can use a larger hook to make this larger. This is great for like money and credit cards, cute little pouch to carry little things in. It measures about four inches by four inches. Okay, so let's get started. To get started, you're going to um, slip knot onto your hook. And I did a chain 16. So you're going to um, yarn over and pull through and complete um, chains of 16 in total. Now you're going to work in the second chain from the hook, you're going to work two single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops for a single crochet and do that one more time. Then you're going to single crochet in each chain across until the end. So each chain gets a single crochet. Once you're at the end, you're going to work two single crochet to finish. Work in a continual round on the opposite side. In the next stitch, you're going to single crochet again. And you're going to single crochet in each stitch across until you get to the end of that row. Now you're going to um, slip stitch in that beginning stitch. You can use stitch markers if you like to keep track. Okay, and then to get started on the next round, you're going to chain two. Then you're going to half double crochet in the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook for a half double crochet. Then you're going to skip the next stitch, skip, and then you're going to work two half double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to skip the next stitch again and work two half double crochet in the next stitch. And this is the pattern around is two half double crochet, skip a stitch, two half double crochet. Now you're going to repeat this around until you get to the beginning. Now you're at the beginning, you're going to skip two stitches. You're going to um, go to that chain two and on top of that chain two, you're going to slip stitch. Like I said, you can use stitch markers to keep track of your rounds. I was going to and then I forgot. So you're slip stitching on top of that chain two. and then chain two, and then half double crochet in the next stitch. And 
and then skip the next stitch and then work two half double crochet on top of the previous shell two half double crochet. So right there is two half double crochet again and then you're just repeating the pa pattern again. You're going to skip the next stitch and then work two half double crochet in the next. It's right on that V stitch. And then you're repeating that around until you get to the beginning again. Okay, it's going to look like this. It's turning into the pouch. So you're just going to continue that on until you get to the very beginning again. Two half double crochet, skip, two half double crochet. Now you're at the beginning and you're going to go right into on top of that chain two again. and slip stitch. And now you can continue this on by repeating the pattern again. Um, I did it for a total of eight rounds. However um, long you would like it, you can keep doing it for your desired length. Just to show you again, you're going to skip you're going to go right into the next, sorry, no skipping, go right into the next one, work your half double crochet. This is just repeating and then skip and then go into your next stitch and work two half double crochet. And this is just a repeat, um, just repeat this all the way, all the way around until you get to the beginning again. chain one and single crochet and each stitch around until you get to the beginning and that is all you need to do for this round. Repeat that until the beginning. Now you're back at the beginning and you're going to slip stitch in that beginning stitch to complete. Now you're going to chain one, single crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to chain four to create a button hole. You may need to chain less or more depending on how wide you need it for your button hole. My button is one inch around. Then I'm going to skip just three and work into the next stitch with a single crochet. So skip three and then you can slip stitch or single crochet. I think I slip stitch but um, it's up to you on how you want to do it. You want to make sure your button fits in there. Now you're going to work your single crochet around until you reach the beginning again. Now you're back at the beginning, chain one, single crochet until you get to the chain four. Once you get to the chain four, you're going to work single crochets into it. One, two, three, four, and then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet all the way around until you get to the beginning again. You're going to repeat this for two more rounds. 
Once you repeat it two more rounds, you're going to slip stitch into the beginning stitch, chain one and pull through. Cut your yarn. Once you have that for your desired amount on top, then you're going to take your yarn needle and you're going to go inside and weave in the ends to hide the stitches and weave them in. Now take your button in the inside and sew it in with your yarn needle. Once you sew it in and fasten it in, then you can take the um, opening that you created on your pouch and insert the button and then your pouch is complete. Now that the pouch is complete, you can insert in your button through the little button opening and now it's finished. So um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any comments or anything, please comment down below. Thank you for watching.